Hello everyone, welcome back to Prashika's world. So from the intro, of course, you definitely know what I'm making. I'm making chocolate modak. So people who are lazy like me should definitely go ahead and try this modak at home. It is very simple to make and hardly takes five to ten minutes to prepare. I'm going to tell you very simple ingredients for this. You would need some milk, which is readily available at everyone's house. Some some dry fruits of your choice. Oreo biscuit, uh, I guess two should do, and a modak mold. If you don't have a modak mold, you can uh, just shape it in the form of a ladu and uh, you know roll it with your hand. Now in dry fruits, I had badam as well as ca- cashew nuts at home, so I have just chopped it uh, into small pieces. Here uh, in biscuits, you can use anything of your choice. I have taken Oreo biscuits here. So I have taken two packets, rupees ten each. Um, firstly, I have transferred all the Oreo biscuits that we get in each of the packet into a bowl. So you get five pieces in a packet. So I have ten here. Uh, after that, I have separated the cream from uh, the Oreo biscuits. Now, after this, the process is very simple. You need to make a powder out of this. You can either use a mixer or just mash it with a masher. Once the powder is ready, you will have to add a half tablespoon to one tablespoon of ghee. At this point, you can now add four tablespoons of milk um, and make a dough out of this mixture. Do not add more uh, milk until needed. Try to knead the dough first to see if you can form this consistency before adding any extra milk. So I did not add anything extra to what I had uh, told you in the video earlier because the ghee that we added will help to bind everything together. So now let's start making the modak. So firstly, to the inner lining of the modak mold, I am adding in some pieces of badam, and then I'm going to add in the modak uh, mixture that we had prepared. Don't fill it up too much because as soon as you close the mold, you will have to make some gap in the middle and add in the cream that we had removed. And also some pieces of dry fruits. Here I'm adding in cashew nuts. I'm again covering it up with the white chocolate and on top of it the, with the dough as well. And just press everything together and remove any extras that you might have in the sides or at the bottom. Now, as soon as you open, you'll have to very carefully take this out from the bottom so that the modak does not break. And the badam that we had added uh, in the inner lining has now given it a very good uh, texture from the outside. Now with the remaining, I'm just going to make one more modak because that's what uh, I could make from the two biscuits that I ha- had. So I would say one packet of biscuit, uh, the ten rupees biscuit, you should be able to make one big modak. Oh my God, this looks very tempting. Okay, now let's go and serve this to Ganesha. You can garnish this with dry fruits again, uh, whatever is available at home, or you can leave it as it is. Doesn't this look delicious? Yes, it was definitely delicious. It is definitely a very quick and a very easy recipe, and of course, a very delicious recipe as well. Do try this at home and let me know how you liked it or how differently can this be made with other biscuits as well. So in this case, because Oreo is already sweet, we did not use sugar. But for example, if you use marigold biscuit, you can do the, all the same steps once again. But you will all definitely have to add either condensed milk or you will have to add some sugar. Otherwise, you can try the same recipe, and I guarantee that you will not be disappointed. You will definitely love, and everyone at home will also love this recipe. If you try this, do comment down below your experience. And thank you so much for watching my video so far. And thank you so much for giving me so much love for all the Ganesh Chaturthi um, vlogs that I've been adding, shots that I've been adding. Your support is uh, very much appreciated. 
and um, i would be looking forward to see your comments on how did you celebrate ganesh chaturthi and what were the different sweets that you had prepared so until my next video stay safe and stay healthy my friends ha wishing you and your family a very happy ganesh chaturthi